Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new viewer, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. Thank you to all those who have subscribed lately and those who have been following me since the beginning. So I went to Joann's because they had a McCall sale and a Simplicity sale. I am upset that I missed the Vogue sale. There is definitely some um, patterns that they had for fall that I really wanted to get. And my Joann's is a little slower at getting in the patterns, the new patterns. So unfortunately for my Vogue patterns, I am going to have to wait until the next sale in order to get them. But um, I didn't get a lot of new patterns because of the fact that I have a lot of patterns and I'm trying to adjust the way I store them. Um, there is a app and I wish I can remember it. Once I do the edit the video, I'll put it up here. And the app allows you to actually keep track of what patterns you have. So I'm trying to go through all my patterns and I'm trying to put them on this app. So whenever I go in the store, I'm not trying to duplicate patterns. And on top of that, it allows me to know what patterns I have. So when I get ready to do a project, I am not trying to figure out, you know, where the pattern is or if I have the pattern it'll already be in my stash and I can go from there. But I did pick up a few things. So I'm going to start with McCall's. So I picked up McCall's 8183. Um, it is one of their new patterns. As you can see, it is a jumpsuit and it has different um, views on it. So there's three different views. There is view A, which is shorts and no sleeves. It is view B, which the model is wearing, which is pants and no sleeve. And then view C that has the sleeves and the pants. I actually picked it up for view A, and I think I'm gonna eventually make view C. Um, if you can look at the lines on this, I love the lines that they have put on this particular pattern. The fact that you can do different type of buttons and it's a tailored look, but it's super cute. So um, they said that you can use crepe and suiting um, fabrics for this particular pattern. And I think I have some in my stash that I am going to use for this. So I actually bought two jumpsuit patterns from McCall's this time around. So that is McCall's 8183. And then I also picked up um, McCall's 8154. Um, what I do like about McCall's, they tell you how many pieces is on there. So this particular pattern has 17 pieces um, and the same thing for the last jumpsuit pattern, but it's a jumpsuit and I love the way they did this jumpsuit. Um, this particular pattern, they tell you that you would need a lot of notions um, and you can use it for crepes, denims, cotton blends, and twills. I actually want to end up doing view A and view C. Um, I just love the look, especially view C, if you guys can see that. Um, they're not pants, um, but I love the fact that they have this little detail um, across the top and I'm really looking forward to making this. Um, I think I already have some fabric in my stash. I'm trying to use up my stash that will go with this, but if not, um, there's always fabric stores. Um, but it's just a really cute, um, pattern that I am excited to do. So again, this is McCall's 8154. I also got this. So I know this is not new. This has been out for a while. Um, but says what? Uh, since 2020, so I'm a year old, but I really like this jacket. Um, there's only one view on here. It is this cute little jacket. There's 26 pieces, so of course it's going to take a while to do it. Um, suggested fabrics is wool blends, um, leather, um, any kind of, I would say, um, tweed you also can do with this. There's a whole different 
look I want to do with this. I actually want to use a type of sequence. I know that they're using sequence for the actual um, envelope design, but I have some sequence that I got from Mood Fabric that I've been trying to figure out what I want to do with this. And I think this jacket is going to be it. Um, there's 26 pieces, like I said, so it's going to take a long time to kind of get everything down. And you're also going to need lining for this particular pattern. The notions, um, you're going to need a separating zipper and then two zippers, I believe, for, for the sleeves. I was trying to figure out where the small zippers went, but they're for the sleeves. So it's going to be exciting to actually get this pattern done and I'm looking forward to it. And that's actually a Nicole Miller's. I usually don't get her patterns because they run small and they don't fit. So I know I'm going to have to make some adjustments for it, but I am I love the jacket. The next pattern that I got from McCall's is McCall's 7751. And I love both of these shirts. Um, I think if you can see for view B, is color blocking. I'm actually going to do a shirt that has color blocking, but I'm also going to do probably a solid or something to show all the different lines. If you can look at the back of the pattern, see how all the lines is in there? It's gonna be so pretty. So I definitely wanna do this. I probably won't get it done in the fall time, but I live in Florida. So fall from us is anywhere from September um until the end of the year because if we do get cold it'll be cold for a couple of days and then it'll go back up to fall kind of um temperatures so i am looking forward to doing this um i don't get a chance to wear regular garments often but what i do i want to step out the suggested fabrics on this are um cotton blends um poplin um crepe you, I'm trying to see where the notions are. You need 10 buttons and some interfacing um, for the actual pattern. I don't see where they have the number of pieces on here like the McCall's normally do. This is not a newer pattern. This pattern is back from, ooh, 2018. But when you still see it in the book, it's cute. I bought it. All right, so that is all the McCall's I got. I didn't have a lot of time to like go through the book and um i know a lot of joann's they have taken away the tables now so you don't have anywhere to kind of sit and go through the book and look at different kind of patterns it does help me not get as many patterns but i'm going to start going online and writing down the patterns i want so when i go in it can make a quick trip out of it i did get three only three simplicity patterns um i got the new pattern from Mimi G. Um, this has 16 pieces. It is the jacket. There's the shorts and then um, the pants on there. Now, I I love this. I actually have um, fabric that I want to use for the jacket. And I also want to make end up making like a solid piece or a pattern um, printed um, piece for both of these. I love the fact that they're starting to make bigger sizes because it's going to help me not have to do as many adjustments for the fit. So this pattern goes up to a 28W um, and the finished garment for the bust is a 55, which is right up my alley. So that's the one thing I am saying about them. They are um, listening that, you know, us bigger girls want patterns too, and we don't want to have to do all the adjustments that are necessary to make sure they fit appropriately. So um, the fabric you can use out of this is crepe, denim, um, leather, lightweight wool, linen types, sateens. There's a lot of different fabrics that you can do for this one. Now, this is the one that you would get off the rack. Unfortunately, I did not look up to see what the actual pattern number was but like I said it is one of her newer patterns for Mimi G and I I'm here for it she does have a different dress pattern that is out and I love it don't get me wrong I want it but there is like a piece that's a cutout piece on the side and the way my stomach is set up 
my situation is not going to work for me. I really wish I'm trying to think I didn't buy it, but I'm trying to think of what I can do to um to alter that. I don't know if I want to take it just a piece of fabric and put it in that, like a different color fabric if I want to do mesh there. So I'm trying to think of what I want to do before I buy the pattern because I just don't want to buy it. And then it just sit there forever because I, I just can't make it. So um, the next pattern I got from Simplicity is their 9178. And this only has four pieces. It definitely um, is for your fall winter look. I love this pattern. I actually have some sweater material that I have not had an opportunity to use. I've had it for probably over four years trying to think of the right pattern and I love this. So there is um, the shirt down here, but you also can lengthen it to make it a dress um, or you can make it a shirt. I actually like all three views. I think the difference in views are the different lengths and view B, uh, which is what the model is wearing is cut different is cut um, more at an angle. But like I said, I am here for all three views. I probably would end up making two of the views. Um, the kind of fabric you need would be a stretch knit only. So they tell you your sweaters, your interlocks, um, anything like that. Just, it's divine. We're in fall, so I wanna do a sweater. Um, I had a sweater um, dress years ago that I absolutely love but of course I done got bigger since then so since my size has changed I do need um another one and I I can't help but think this pattern is going to do it so again this is simplicity 9178 and the last one I got I told you guys I didn't get a lot but the last simplicity I got um is 89.57 and it's a pants pattern. So I don't make a lot of pants. Um, and I was going through my wardrobe and I realized I need some more pants, but I don't make a lot of it. But I love the details that it has on here. I don't know if you guys can see um, see it on the pattern, but they have the bottom of the pants. It's a fitted pants, but the bottom of it, they have different details. So one has buttons, one has this little, um, it's not a cuff, I don't know what to call it, but it's cute and it has good lines on it. So that's one of the things I, I'm starting to look at is looking at the lines on the back of the pattern to see um, if it's something I want to do. And it's 14 pieces, which is a lot for a pant, but it's a it's a tailored pant and I think it's going to be really cute. Um, the patterns, sorry, the fabric you can use for it's basically any fabric. They have everything from denim, sateen, stretch wovens, um, twills, wool types, um, light denim. So whatever, pretty much whatever fabric that you can find for it is you can use for this. And I think it's gonna be good. Um, that is actually all I have for um, my pattern. I told you I didn't get a lot. I know a lot of people right now is in fall um, pattern mode. And I've seen a lot of videos where people got a lot of patterns. And some of them patterns is really making me rethink of going back to the store. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to be better and more intentional, not only about my fabric, but about my pattern purchases. So guys, tell me what you're buying out there. If you have went out and bought some patterns um, for the fall season, just let me know. Put it in the comments below. Tell me what you're making. If you've seen any of these patterns that you're like, oh, I think I want to pick it up. Let me know. Tell me what you're making with it. I would love to hear from you guys. Until next time. Bye.